What do men think about after you sleep with them? Let's decode it now. This question remains an enigma that intrigues many women, a puzzle waiting to be solved. Deciphering what goes through a man's mind after intimacy with his partner seems nearly impossible, unless your partner is one of the few who values open communication and postcodal cuddling. Sex is an incredibly intimate exchange, a moment of vulnerability shared between two individuals. Therefore, if you're curious about what thoughts may be swirling in your partner's mind post-coitus, consider exploring these potential insights. 1. Did she enjoy it too? One of the primary thoughts occupying a man's mind after intercourse is whether his partner found it pleasurable. It's common for men to worry about their partner's satisfaction and whether they experienced fulfillment or disappointment from the encounter. This concern often occupies their thoughts significantly. 2. Did she have an orgasm? For any man, helping his partner reach orgasm is considered a significant accomplishment. In contemporary society, a man's sexual prowess is frequently evaluated based on his ability to provide sufficient pleasure to his partner, leading to climax. Thus, it's entirely understandable if this question is circulating in your partner's thoughts. 3. Should I cuddle or get to sleep? Your partner might find himself torn between whether to cuddle with you post-sex or simply drift off to sleep immediately. Preferences vary greatly, some individuals prefer space for rest after intimacy, while others cherish the closeness of cuddling. Providing your partner with a gentle suggestion and then allowing them to take the lead can help navigate this choice. 4. Should I get up to shower? For some, it's considered impolite to leave immediately after sex to attend to other matters. However, given the intensity and physical exertion involved in sex, the desire for a shower may feel like a necessity for many individuals. Moreover, he might even prefer if you join him in the shower for a shared intimate moment. 5. Wow, that was amazing. If your partner is silent after sex, chances are he's reflecting on the incredible moments shared in bed. He might be quietly appreciating your actions and the adventurousness of the sexual positions you explored together. In essence, he could already be contemplating the possibility of another round. 7 Steps and Tips to Give a Nipple Orgasm to Your Partner How to Make Your Nipple Orgasm Experience the Best Instead of focusing solely on penetration, consider exploring the possibility of giving your partner a nipple orgasm. Don't limit yourself to conventional sex positions when there's so much more to explore. Whether your partner is male or female, engaging with their nipples can add a new dimension of pleasure. Follow these tips and steps to ensure it becomes an unforgettable experience for both of you. 1. Work on the atmosphere. Creating the right ambience is crucial before engaging in any sexual activity. Whether it's being in a lively mood or intentionally setting the scene, the atmosphere matters. Consider lighting candles with a mild, pleasing scent that your partner enjoys, play some mood-setting music, and enhance the sexual tension by either dressing provocatively or opting for minimal clothing. 2. Let go of the judgment. Disregard concerns about your weight, body shape, or specific body parts, as your partner doesn't dwell on those factors. Release any self-judgments and embrace confidence in both your bodies. This mindset is essential for creating a relaxed atmosphere conducive to enjoying each other's company to the fullest. 3. Breathe. While nervousness may be present, maintaining a calm breathing rhythm will help you focus on the nipples. Practice taking long, deep breaths to induce relaxation. 4. Tease. Obtain massage oil and gently tease your partner's nipples. Start by dripping oil between their breasts or chest, and a few drops on their belly. Choose an oil with a pleasant taste. Begin by lightly massaging the belly to release tension, then transition gradually to the breasts. The key is to modulate your touch, vary the pressure and incorporate feather light strokes with your fingertips. 5. The Circular Motion Indeed, not only the pressure but also the direction of your touch matters significantly. Stimulating the nipple area and then moving to the breasts or chest can trigger heightened arousal, as nipples are rich in nerve endings. Employing broad strokes with the tongue can provide immense pleasure to the recipient. 
6. Use sex toys. In addition to using your hands and mouth, incorporating sex toys can also enhance pleasure. Whether it's a vibrator or nipple clamps, explore options that your partner feels comfortable with and give them a try. 7. Ice please. Ice can also heighten pleasure significantly. You can experiment with temperature play by incorporating an ice cube with your partner. The sensation of cold sends shivers through the body and can also assist with achieving and maintaining an erection. What do the position of your ring say about your personality? Here is what your personality is. Many of us appreciate ornaments, particularly rings adorning our fingers. These rings may be crafted from precious metals such as silver, gold, or platinum, and adorned with various gemstones, each with its own unique qualities. However, did you realize that the finger on which you wear your ring can reveal a lot about your personality? Whether you wear it on your index finger, ring finger, or elsewhere can suggest traits such as leadership abilities, being a follower, possessing a gentle disposition, or having a dominant personality. Discover what your choice of ring position says about you. 1. Ring on the thumb finger. Wearing a thumb ring on your dominant hand, whether it's the right or left, signifies ambition. Conversely, if you wear it on the thumb of your non-dominant hand, it suggests inner conflict. According to palmistry, a ring worn on the thumb represents willpower and self-assertion. 2. Ring on the index finger. Wearing a ring on the index finger of the dominant hand reflects self-esteem, confidence, and leadership qualities. Conversely, if the ring is worn on the index finger of the non-dominant hand, it suggests a willingness to accept leadership. According to palmistry, the index finger symbolizes leadership and ambition. 3. Ring on the middle finger. The middle finger signifies responsibility, beauty, and self-reflection. It's not as common for people to wear rings on this finger. However, if someone does wear a ring on either hand, it suggests a sense of responsibility. This is one of the reasons why family leaders often wear rings on their middle fingers. 4. Ring on the ring finger. The ring finger symbolizes love, relationships, and creativity, which is why couples often choose to wear engagement rings on this finger. It is linked with the moon and carries connotations of romance. 5. Ring on the little finger. It's uncommon to see a ring on the pinky finger unless it's necessitated by a specific gemstone. When someone does wear a ring on this finger, it typically reflects their professional status. The little finger is believed to be influenced by mercury, representing qualities such as intuition, communication, and intelligence. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.